Some of the greatest works of art were born out of accident. We've just seen how artist Zheng Xiaodong incredibly resurrected and improved on China's century-old art of dragon-scale bookbinding. Next, we follow our reporter Xu Jie to the second leg of this journey, where we delve deep into a new 2.5-dimensional world that Zheng has created, inspired by his dragon-scale bookbinds. Check this out. I see clouds, mountains, and rivers from this angle, while lotuses, Buddha, and temples from another perspective. Layer by layer, colors change and views are different. This is Zhang Xiaodong's unique contemporary artworks, known as Qian Ye, meaning literally thousands of pages. But Zhang told me, believe it or not, that he was taken to this 2.5 dimensional world by a mistake he made in 2015 on an exhibition of his dragon scale bound books in Lhasa in the Tibet Autonomous Region. Beaming and that mistake with sweet memories triggered the artist to invite the Buddha out of the painting. That's the moment when Jiang's contemporary artwork, Qian Ye, came into being. Inspired by the ancient dragon scale binding technique and that beautiful mistake, Jiang created a 2.5 dimensional world on his paintings in 2016. And there's no obstacle to understanding Zhang's artworks for the world. He has exhibited in many countries and art fairs, including the 58th Venice Biennale in 2019. His themed project called Waves, also his first solo exhibition in Europe, caused quite a stir. Insiders say Jiang endows the traditional logic of Chinese art with simple but fresh techniques. His work seriously penetrates into the unknown possibilities of art, traceable but inaccessible, non-public but easygoing for various reasons. The belief that art creates form gives birth to the issue itself, and its characteristics and outline raise questions about the way we perceive cultural boundaries. Art itself is a universal language and it also creates possibilities. An encounter in a friend's studio resulted in a cooperation with Anna, a senior art agent from Spain who's been living in Shanghai for 17 years. As scheduled, Jiang went to Shanghai last month to visit Anna. The founder of the Art Plus Shanghai Gallery is very straightforward. She says she made the decision to work with Jiang just five minutes after she looked closely at his works. The first time that I went to the studio, Xiaodong Studios in Beijing, it was two, two months ago. When I entered in the studio, I had a very strong feeling of calm, um, elegant, and uh, beauty. When I, uh, I look at the works more closely, I, um, 
immediately know that um, I will like to work with him. I will like to represent him. Anna is not alone. Francoise Onion, a French woman who settled down in Beijing in 2002, has already exhibited Jiang's artworks twice in the capital. As the Chevalier de Hatte et de Lettre, or Knight of French Literature and Art, Francoise believed that she had found a genius the first time she met Jiang Xiaodong and saw his artworks. Et puis, ce qui m'a aussi particulièrement touché, c'est le fait qu'il retravaille dans la mémoire culturelle chinoise avec des outils contemporains pour aller travailler dans la modernité. Son talent, je souhaite le partager avec le plus grand nombre dans un événement qui a lieu à Paris au Grand Palais. C'est un événement qui s'appelle Révélation, où tous les grandes personnalités du monde de l'art de la culture, de, des architectes, des grandes maisons de luxe viennent rencontrer les grands artistes. Mais si je peux, au mois de juin, dans les premières journées de juin, je l'emmènerai à Paris, au Grand Palais. And Jiang Xiaodong is warming up. Besides cutting, folding, ironing and binding, boxing is also a very important part of his life. Nothing comes out of thin air. Jiang said no one could innovate anything by just simply standing on the edge of imagination. Innovation requires down-to-earth hard work, accumulation of time and experience, as well as self-enrichment by understanding and absorbing the wisdom of sages in human history. This process is long, arduous, and sometimes even hopeless. Jiang Xiaodong has made it and is still on the way to a wider world. CGTN, Beijing.